from blogger to blogger. Wow, what a journey for Harry's wife. She was a little-known actress on a cable show, which repeatedly had to be mentioned in order to give her some kind of relevance. Even now, reference is always made to her having been on Suits, although most people had never watched it. She also ran a blog called The Tig, although if you want to be entertained, watch my videos about The Stig, far more amusing than wading through the beige nonsense that she used to write and plagiarise. And then she met old Ginger Bollocks, pissed a lot of people off, told a load of lies, whinged and whined, played the victim, made things up, revised history. And where is she now? Well, she's not acting, well, not in the formal sense of it, although, of course, she does on a daily basis, driven by her narcissism. And she's returned to potentially being a blogger again. Philanthropy doesn't seem to have worked out for her, whereas the ambassadorships of various charities, etc. She's not really interested in service, is she, despite saying that it's universal. Very good at partnering with other people and ligging off the back of what they achieve, but she's not there for rolling her own sleeves up. No. And she wants to be paid for everything, of course. Being an author didn't work out, content creator, well, this is what she seems to be going back to. But her stabs at it so far not exactly been blessed with success. And repeatedly, there are attempts to suggest that her return to social media is like the second coming of Christ. That somehow, this is going to be some amazing event. That all of a sudden, she's going to find some talent from somewhere and wow the world as she makes this juggernaut social media presence. She's blogging, going to be she's going to be blogging again. That's it. She was an actress who blogged, now she's going to be a blogger that's not an actress any longer. Brilliant credentials. Of course, what she's expecting is that because she's now famous or infamous, dependent upon your perspective, that all these people are going to flock to read what she has to write, to look at what she pumps out on social media. Undoubtedly, there will be a lot of people that will luck, but the vast majority of them will do so for the purposes of ridicule. Now, I don't suppose she would necessarily care if that's getting her clicks and it's generating revenue for her. But there'll be plenty of people that will want to go and look for the purpose of saying, oh, look, here she is, can't help herself, telling yet more lies. And also people looking at it and forming the conclusion that it's a load of nonsense, that the information that she has put out there is banal, is dull, it's dross. Yet there are so many that persist in trying to make out that this is something amazing that she's doing. And Jane Hertz reports in the New York Post that somebody suggests that Harry's wife's social media return, basically being blogger, returning to being a blogger, makes her more relatable than Kate Middleton, or as she should more accurately be known as the Princess of Wales. Perhaps they've confused relatable with hateable, but let's read on and find out what this supposed expert has to tell us. Harry's wife's rumoured return to social media could eventually make her more relatable than Princess Kate Middleton, according to one royal expert. Last month, Page Six exclusively reported that the Duchess of Sussex, <clears throat> 42, is allegedly plotting a return to Instagram and has a handle called at Harry's wife on the social media platform. With Kate's social media presence, we're given very choreographed glimpses into her perfect, almost too good to be true family, royal expert Tessa Dunlop told OK, per the Daily Record. Well, isn't all social media choreographed when you're controlling what you're showing the world? Unless somebody else is filming you unawares or photographing you unawares and putting it out there, if you're the one that's taking a picture of yourself... You're posing in a particular way, therefore you're choreographing it. If you know that you're being filmed or you're filming yourself, you're going to act in a particular way because you know that you're being filmed or that you're filming yourself and that this is going to go out for some degree of public consumption. So all social media, save where you've been caught unawares, is choreographed. 
Nevertheless, this supposed expert persists in telling us that with Harry's wife, on the other hand, we know that she's been through hell and back. What the fuck is this woman talking about? If she's been through hell and back, it's purely of her own making. She doesn't have the insulation of the institution in a large family, and whose fault is that? Hers. She rejected the institution. She's got rid of most of her family. Dunlop continued explaining that if Harry's wife's new Instagram account is authentic to her true personality, <laughs> it could be a great success. If it's authentic to her true personality, it'll be rampant with narcissism, where she'd be brown-nosing certain people, bragging about how amazing she is, and then t rounding on anybody who dares to criticise her. So it's not going to be authentic to her true personality at all. This is what happens when you get an expert commenting on something that they don't actually understand. Harry's wife is a narcissist. Therefore, the authenticity of what she does is zero. What she puts out there publicly is manufactured by her narcissism for public consumption as part of her facade management. That isn't always applicable to every single narcissist, but it is to Harry's wife. And therefore, to suggest that what she puts out on Instagram could be authentic to her personality is absolute nonsense. Dunlop also noted that Harry's wife will be making her own way, as she did before she married Prince Harry, 38, in 2018, i.e. the blogger returns to being a blogger. The 42-year-old's <clears throat> alleged Instagram page, which doesn't have any posts as of yet, has 125,000 followers. The current icon features a beautiful array of pink flowers. According to page 6, the Duchess of Sussex created the account just before she launched her now-defunct Spotify podcast in August 2022 and has allegedly been in touch with a number of brands to work with. Well, here we are a year later, and she's once again demonstrating the snail's pace at which she functions and operates, that she set it up a year ago and still hasn't done anything with it. Why is that? Combination of laziness, the fact that nobody's that interested... 125,000 followers is substantial, but not for somebody who's got worldwide fame. She should be in the several million, which just demonstrates that there aren't that many people who are actually interested in following her. So it shouldn't be crowded as some major achievement. Someone like her, that is known around the globe, who's reported on each and every single day, should have millions of followers, and the failure to do so is actually an abject failure. This attempt to suggest that she's going to create something authentic and that she's more relatable than the Princess of Wales is just utter nonsense. And this supposed expert is clearly doesn't know what she's talking about. And it's another instance whereby there's attempts to try and make Harry's wife relevant. But all it does is show this. She was once a blogger, and she's returned to being a blogger. That's it. Wow, what an achievement. Quick dive below the line to see if anybody accepts what's being written. Quest speaker. She's every woman, Dominot said. She doesn't feel too out of touch or far removed from a normal woman. She most definitely is not every woman. This comment is a huge insult to women everywhere. The bets. Women will be running in fear. She's as relatable as Wallace Simpson, not like Catherine, especially when we see her with her children, not like the poor Sussex children. Give me a reason. Wow, WME must really be struggling to keep me gain re remotely relative. All the pictures are old and dated, and if Roland and Washington are now Hollywood hotshots, then they must be the last two actors left in L.A., I know what's right. Relatable as what? A gold-digging grifter. Eric H. Harry's wife is a venomous piece of gutter trash. Always will be until the day her time is up. Did anyone see the footage of her trying to do some sexy dancing at the Beyonce concert? She looked like an aging, low-end stripper. She thinks highly of herself, but we all know she is nothing. Well, nobody's buying it below the line. Very few people will be buying it above the line. But the fact is... Harry's wife is trying so hard to be relevant, to be relatable, but it just shows it's gone beyond the pale, and people don't want to know. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.